Bailey was six months old when he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. From that diagnosis, we then moved into physio and surgery and Botox. This went on for many years. He's had 16 operations so far. He's only 15, so that's a lot of surgery. I was born uh, naturally with uh, two fingers missing. Um, it, when it came out, these two here were actually stuck together. So I had to have surgery to even, it's not exactly separated completely, but it's still got room between it to breathe. Yeah, look, it was different, but I like it. It's like the thing that makes me, me. When I got out of my walker and crutches, the first thing I wanted to do was like, it was to play a sport because that was the ultimate goal for me. Mum and dad took me to Aussie Hoops and that trained me up so I could learn the basics about basketball. I remember a coach came up to my parents and said, would you look, would your son like to come play with us? And they had talked to me and I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I went down there and I joined their team for a couple of seasons and I had the best time. He's come so far. He's got such a positive attitude. I got to the stage in Able Body where they were just getting too fast, too big, too strong for me. So I decided I'll give it a go. And it's great because I can finally be in a sector or a sport where I can do things that everybody else can do and even be better than some people. Whereas like Able Body, I was always one of the worst on the court because I wasn't as fast or I wasn't as mobile. So yeah, playing wheelchair basketball, it was like, it was grouse because it was like a new lease on life. So like last year, I went up to Queensland Suncoast for a um, Suncoast Spinners tournament up there, which was like a wheelchair basketball. So then we went to the bronze medal match and we won that match. And it was really exciting because I learned so much more skills to enhance my game and take it to the next level. Aside from the, the almost constant need for a haircut, Bailey is He's driven. He's always willing to give it a go. In the next year, year or so, I reckon he'd be more than able to go and be training with the National League men with a view to the next couple of years actually competing with them. Well, the ultimate goal for, I think, everyone that plays is to make the Paralympics. But for me, I like to do things in little steps. So for me, the next thing would be to, I made the KCC team, which is the Victorian team. So the next step after that would be to go to Canberra and do a training camp, which gets you on the list for the under 23 worlds. Well, with my faith, like, I would not be here today. Without God in my life, I'd probably still be in a wheelchair, just not as mobile as I am today. So, like, I know that it's good because if I'm having a downtime, I know God's always there with me. No matter how bad I'm feeling or how bad the operation is, I know he's always there. So it kind of comforts me in those hard times. Like, I live by a motto every single day. Um, and that is life is way too short to hold back. You cannot give anything but 100%. You can't give any less. You can give more, but you cannot give any less. Because if you do, you end up winding and going backwards. That's why every day I live by that motto because I know that if I don't, my disability is gonna take control of me and you can't let that happen. I now reflect back and think 15 years on, he is complete. He has found his happy place and I couldn't be any more prouder of him than I am.